I wanted to do a quick mini review on a modification that I did to my mount that has been a huge quality of life increase. It's the rail slider kit from Dark Frame Optics. The rail slider kit is great. It fixes Cinta's design problem. It's somewhere in there and you should get it. No, but really, I am super excited about the rail slider kit. Uh, if you're like me and you live at a high latitude, you know how annoying it is trying to adjust the altitude when you're polar aligning on either an Atlas or a Sirius or HEQ5 or EQ6. Um, this slider kit makes it so much easier to do that. I mean, you can see I've got my full load on here. I'm cranked almost as high up as I can get and I can still freely move up or down pretty smoothly with just my pinky finger. There's no way that you could do that uh, without this modification in there. So first I wanted to explain what's actually wrong with the design here. The way these Cinta mounts work to adjust altitude is there's this bolt that comes in and it pushes on this tab. You can see it would kind of rotate through there. So you turn this and it pushes on this little tongue here and that kind of forces the whole thing to rotate. Now, that doesn't seem terrible when it's coming in real short like that, but when you get up at high latitudes, the angle is coming in more like this, and you're kind of just pushing against that and not anything is really happening. Uh, on the other side, there's another pin that kind of locks it in. So that seems not so terrible until we look at the design of the other half of the head. So this is where the real issue comes in with this design. Remember we had that tongue that would be sitting here and you adjust the altitude and it pivots like that as you move the screw in and out. It would go down and then it would pivot up. Now that's fine when this um, boss is holding the bolt and you just have this little bit sticking out. What becomes a problem is when you're up at a high latitude and suddenly you've got like two or three inches of this little bolt that's completely unsupported floating around here. Um, and you've got the whole tongue kind of resting on the end of it. These bolts can get bent or they just don't have any leverage to move anything around. So what the rail slider kit does to fix this is it comes in and it has this wedge and this little round thing that slides on the rails. So the screw then fits into a little hole here and it pushes through there. So that does a few things. The biggest one is that any weight, um, as this screw is way far out, as that bolt is way far out, now any of the weight that's pushing down on it gets supported by the wedge instead of just bending it. And then you also have that nice round surface that interfaces with the tongue. Uh, so you have a really nice smooth contact throughout any sort of rotation there as the whole thing is moving. The other thing that's great about this kit is how easy the install is. You just cover it in some synthetic lube. The kit even comes with some. I have a tube of super lube that I use and then you literally just drop the thing in and that's pretty much it. You can slide this back to make sure that it's out of the way. And then again, you can see how that bolt just kind of interfaces with it and starts sliding and then your tongue would pivot on that. And that's really all there is to it. It's dead simple and it just works super well. Honestly, that's about it as far as the rail slider kit goes. It just works really well and the install isn't that hard. Uh, the hardest part is getting this bolt back in. Um, I actually had my mount all put back together and then took it apart again because I was genuinely so excited to share with other people how well it works. I don't exactly know what latitude you would want to live at before this starts making sense, but you'll know if you've been polar aligning and those bolts are just really difficult to turn. It makes a really significant difference. Uh, I'm not being sponsored or anything for this, but I'll leave a link in the description of where to purchase it if you want to get one of these for yourself. Um, yeah, other than that, last step is just popping these badges on. I guess my Atlas is an NEQ6 Pro now, so I guess that's cool. Otherwise, uh, just remember to wear a coat because it gets cold when you're polar aligning.